Hey, Nick Wright here, back with another quarantine project. But let's be honest, I, I'd be working on these projects anyway. It's, it's what I like to do with my spare time. Now, today I'm going to be working on a project that has been a long time coming. I, I pre-ordered this a while back. It arrived a few months ago. Um, I just knew I needed a, a dedicated workspace to be able to work on this project because it I knew it would take a while and so it needed to be able to last the duration without you know being untouched being able to stay in that space um, I have that dedicated space now so it's it's high time to get started on my Lego Nintendo Entertainment System so, let's begin.
Hey, how you doing? Did you see that IU game this weekend? Yeah. I mean, it was unbelievable, yeah. wasn't it? I've never seen anything like it. You know, they have not beaten a ranked opponent since 1987. I was in college in 1987. It's my senior year. They haven't beat a ranked appoint, opponent since then. I mean, that's just unbelievable to me. And then to have the opportunity to win the game with less than two seconds, I mean, less than two seconds left in the game. I mean, they barely had enough time to win the thing. They're down one, down one point. And if they score, they win, because it's a two-point conversion. Did I tell you that? They had scored on this long play. Well, it wasn't a long play, but they scored. And anyway, now they're down by one point with virtually no time on the clock. So they've got to run a play and actually score. And if they get the two-point conversion, they win by one point. But if they don't get the two-point conversion, they lose by one point. It's unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen a game like it before in my life. And I was standing outside, I was out here actually on the porch because I was kind of looking inside the window there. 45 minutes later. So I'm driving along and I'm coming down off the entrance ramp, you know, right there uh, as you get on 264. And 
this guy uh, won't let me in. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get in. I got my signal on. I'm kind of looking back at him. I'm trying. Could you just be polite and help me out? And help me get in. You know. I mean, I'm doing everything I can to get just squeezed in between two cars. And finally, I get in. I finally make it in. This same guy, this same bozo, later comes in and whips in front of me. Doesn't give a signal or anything. No apology. No kind of friendly wave. You know, if somebody had just give me a friendly wave, I'd be okay with it. But no, no friendly wave. No anything. No signal. No nothing. And so here I am trying to do everything. One hour later. So anyway, this game of Monopoly went on forever. I mean, it just didn't stop. It was so much fun, and I won. I mean, in the end, I ended up winning this thing. It was so much fun. Hey, so I thought I'd wear my glasses that look like Nick's because he looks so cool in his. What do you think? I think they're pretty nice, pretty much styling now because I'm like Nick. Anyway, I wanted to say a little bit about our values and our practices, our V's and our P's. And one of the things I want to do is reference the video that I just did, uh, two Toms talking when it's really just one Tom talking. Uh, one of our values is to love others and one of the best ways we can demonstrate our love is to listen. And so there's two things going on in that in that uh, little video two times talking. One is, of course, that uh, one time just keeps running in his mouth and never shuts up. Uh, and sometimes that's okay. Sometimes people need that just to be able to know that they're being listened to by someone who cares. And so sometimes that's an appropriate thing. I think if it goes on all the time where you're just dominating every conversation that you ever have and don't stop to listen to others, that probably becomes a problem. But uh, because our values say we should listen to others and love others, and one of the ways to do that is to listen to them and to hear what they have to say, because sometimes people want to just share, and that's an appropriate thing. On the other hand, if you find yourself always being the one doing the talking and never doing the listening, you might examine that a little bit. Just take a look, because our values uh, do matter to us, and our practice of listening can make a huge difference on how people feel about their lives. So... Anyway, just wanted to share that. That's about it uh, for this uh, week's episode. I wanted to say a special thank you to Nick Wright uh, for his willingness to go ahead and do another video for us, and there'll be a part two coming up. Also, wanted to let you know I'm going to be on vacation uh, starting after Communion Sunday. So after this Sunday, I'll be on vacation. I won't do a Wednesday uh, video or a Sunday video next week, so you can look for things in the future uh, as they come along. Uh, the next thing I wanted to let you know is don't forget your stewardship letter and, and your pledge. I hope that you'll prayerfully consider what you might be able to give to the life of the church to continue uh, to allow us to do the ministry that we do, just to get out there and help empower people uh, to live lives of happiness and joy and of meaning and purpose like we're aiming for. Uh, and that can only happen if we all contribute a little bit. And so uh, prayerfully consider what you can contribute. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And then also wanted to let you know that uh, I may be sending out a video or a, um, an email, I guess, to everybody that's really for Muscle. But the idea is we're doing a fundraiser. Uh, Muscle got a brand new um, uh, fundraising Donate Now button, and we're celebrating it with a We Got a New Donate Now button uh, celebration fundraiser. So hope that you'll be willing to give just a little bit to that. Our goal is $4,000. That's what we're trying to raise because if we do, we end up getting 250 uh, dollars from PNC Bank, which is where we set up the account. So um, anyway, hope you'll be able to maybe contribute a little bit to that. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you have a, a blessed week. And remember, go forth in Christ.